This tutorial looks at advanced relaunching techniques with a focus on light wind relaunching. These techniques are for experienced kiters. A reverse launch is where you make the kite fly backwards. The kite launches directly into the air from the leading edge down position. To make the kite fly backwards, you pull in both steering lines. This pulls the trailing edge so close to you, it becomes the leading edge. To help the kite launch, move upwind and pull on both steering lines. Once the kite is clear, let go of one steering line to rotate the kite. Once the leading edge is aiming upwards, let go of the other steering line. The kite is now sheeted out, so should fly forwards quickly. This technique works well in light wind, as you can lift the leading edge before it becomes waterlogged. It is not safe in strong wind. This technique is particularly useful for C-shaped and hybrid kites. C-shaped kites have squared off wingtips, rather than swept back rounded wingtips. They do not rotate onto their corners as easily in light wind. You must be careful with your lines during this technique. It's easy to get them tangled around yourself or your bar, which could lead to a death loop unless you know how to stop it. One challenge in light wind is that once the leading edge has made contact with the water, it can be difficult to lift. The large surface of the leading edge becomes stuck to the water. You can see here that the wind is too light to lift the leading edge. The trip and turn method overcomes this problem by making the kite fall back, which levers the leading edge from the water. The first step is to trip the kite by moving towards it. Move towards the kite until the trailing edge falls away. Very little of the leading edge is now in contact with the water. At this exact moment, it is easier to turn the kite. Pull firmly on the steering line to turn the kite onto its corner. Trip and turn can work in very light wind, but it's difficult to get the timing right. Now, we'll look at some general principles for relaunching in light wind. First, you need to be aware of your kite's angle in the wind window. The more downwind the kite is positioned, the more wind it can catch. You can easily change your kite's angle by pulling on one steering line lightly or by moving yourself. So, in extremely light wind, you can send the kite directly downwind. and aim to complete the entire relaunch in this area. At first, it can help to pull much more firmly on the steering line in order to get the kite onto its corner while still directly downwind. But be careful 
As soon as the leading edge is aiming upwards, you must switch to pulling gently on that steering line, otherwise the kite will collapse. When the wind is light, your own movement plays a significant effect on the apparent wind hitting your kite. For example, if the wind is only 6 knots, and you start drifting downwind at 3 knots, your kite has lost half the wind speed. At the moment you launch, the kite will tend to pull you, and if you allow the kite to drag you, its apparent wind will drop and the lines will go slack. So in light wind, you must try to hold your ground or even move upwind. In deep water, this is more difficult. You may need to swim upwind while completing your relaunch. Another option is to place the board on your feet downwind of yourself. This provides some resistance and reduces downwind drift. You can even crunch up on the board, then push off the board to temporarily move yourself upwind. If you do this at the moment of relaunch, it can greatly improve your chances. To finish this tutorial, we will look at what to do when your kite lands in an abnormal position. From time to time, your kite may end up on the water in its storage position. The leading edge is down, and you can see the top of the kite's canopy instead of the underside. The kite is orientated in the same way that you would store it during setup. To fix this, we rotate the kite until the underneath of the canopy is visible, reel in one steering line, keep the excess steering line away from you as you don't want it to tangle around the bar. Once you pull in the line far enough, you should start to see the underside of the canopy. The wind should catch the underside, lifting the far wingtip. At this moment, ease out the steering line that's holding the close wingtip. You could also pull the steering line holding the far wingtip to help turn the kite. You can now relaunch as normal, but it's important to assess the kite and lines. Any tangled lines or bridles will make the kite behave strangely. Be prepared to use your safety systems. Another scenario is for the trailing edge to fold inside the center lines. The struts fold in front of the leading edge. This is known as an inverted kite. To fix an inverted kite, you need it to have stopped moving and not be pulling you. You then draw in the center lines. This makes the kite flag out and the invert should disappear. When the invert is removed, you can carry on with the relaunch. In this example, the kite has now moved to storage position. So you turn the kite by pulling one steering line until the underside of the canopy catches the wind. Then we place the kite on its corner by pulling firmly on one steering line. 
We then launch the kite with minimal tension in that steering line. There are some other, even more complex ways that your kite can land. You might have lines or bridles wrapped around the downwind side of the kite. You might have a kite that's half inverted, known as a bow tie. If you see problems like these, use your chicken loop quick release to flag out the kite. Otherwise, there is a chance the kite can get damaged or behave unpredictably. I hope this tutorial deepens your understanding of kite relaunch. Subscribe for more tutorials.